you guys remember that YouTube video called Marcel the Shell? Yeah, could you imagine if there was no Marcel and it was just the shell? How boring that would be? Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, I'm Yes Renault, and I didn't want to become an empty shell of a human being, so I've been reading lately. I've been reading this book called The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan. I picked up the book naturally because of its lovely complimentary color scheme. No, but also because the title spoke to my empty soul. <laughs> Uh, but I stuck with it because of what I read on the back. Marina Keegan's star was on the rise when she graduated magna cum laude from Yale in May 2012. Tragically, five days after graduation, Marina died in a car crash. That's horrible, right? And it, it's made even more horrible by the fact that it was true. I couldn't even fathom, you know, five days after graduation, passing away in a car crash. It, it would just feel like everything you worked toward, what was it all for? But the cool thing about this book actually is that it's a compilation of the essays and stories that Marina Keegan wrote either while she was in college or before. So I'm gonna do somewhat of just talking about this book and heads up, y'all, there are gonna be spoiler alerts. If you don't wanna hear, just cover your ears and go, La 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 la, I'm not listening, la 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 la. Just uh, don't stop the video, cause that's bad for the YouTube algorithm. So <laughs> just, just remember, la 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 la. <laughs> I was actually hooked to the book from the first few sentences. All right, are you ready for this? Hold on to your knickers, cause they're about to go flying. It goes, we don't have a word for the opposite of loneliness, but if we did, I could say that's what I want in life. Woo! Were you listening to that? That's already like 50 times better than the generic happiness answer. What do you want to be in life? Happy. No. <laughs> she thought about this question and she dug into it. And that's one cool thing I thought she did throughout the entire book was she never went too cliche on you and she never told you what to think. It was very cool and very David Foster Wallace-esque. One of her first stories in here is a fictional one called Cold Pastoral, and it's oh, so fascinating. So she writes this story from the point of view of this girl who's in college and kind of, you know, like on again, off again, seeing this boy, like every college relationship. But no, she's, she's seeing this boy on again, off again, and he dies. Plot twist. Double plot twist. His old girlfriend, who he had been dating for like, I don't know, two, three, four, two, a, a lot of years, uh, calls her on the phone and says, Hey Claire, can you, can you do this one thing for me? Brian left a journal at his house before he died. Can you go get that journal before his parents see it? So Claire tells Lauren, the ex-girlfriend, um, anything for you, babe. <laughs> no, no, she tells her, okay, I'll fine, whatever, I'll do it. So Claire goes and picks up this journal and like any respectful human does, um, she reads it. <laughs> she reads from the point where her love story starts with Brian. Now mind you, these are Brian's unfiltered thoughts that he had about Claire. Uh, <laughs> Brian had written in this journal, like, I don't know if I'm settling by being with Claire, you know, she's not as hot as Lauren. Some things you don't need to know. Right? And it's very clear when Claire reads this journal that Brian is still in love with Lauren, the ex-girlfriend. Oh, you guys, first 30 pages, first 30 pages. And it's so eye-opening, right? Even that first story, it throws you into the mindset of what it would be like to not star in the love story of your lover. And not be the main character in somebody else's life when to you, you are literally the center of your own universe. And that that's what Marina Keegan does, is she, she, she throws you into the stories of these characters. There's another story I love in here about this guy who cheats at Yahtzee and what that says about his entire character. And then there's a non-fiction story in here that I related to so much actually, which talked about how around 25% of employed Yale graduates will enter the consulting or finance industry. I related to that because I believe it's even higher at Harvard. And the way she writes about it, you guys, it's literally like the way I think about it 
better articulated. <laughs> if you ever want to know my thoughts on finance and consulting, just please read her essay in here. That book resonated with me. It was one of those times you walk into the library and you don't expect to find something that you're gonna love and then you, you come back to the library as a transformed human being. Like, I am no longer human, I am more. I can feel now. I don't know why the step up from human is robot, but <laughs> beside the point, beside the point. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, the book is called The Opposite of Loneliness, I'll live Live, I'll, I'll live a little and leave a link in the description for you if you want to read it. Uh, other than that, I'm Yes Reno. Uh, if you want to stalk me on Instagram, find me at Yes Reno. <laughs> it doesn't change. It does not change. Another thing that doesn't change is the link to my Patreon if you want to donate to me. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Home skillets. Peace. No! Yeah.